Welcome, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I want to talk about claiming sovereignty over the body, okay? This is vitally important. I just wanna make it clear that most people do not have a clue that entities, dead people, are actually coming into their body, okay? I swear, most people have no awareness of this at all, okay? And because we don't have that awareness, that they're coming in, we don't even know that we need to claim our body, claim sovereignty over our body, okay? So what happens is, is because we don't have the teachings, we don't have the information, we don't have anyone telling us that, oh, this karma's come into your body, so you need to claim sovereignty, so stop them from coming in. You need to stop that, you know, close that door. Okay, we don't know that. So if we don't know it, we're not gonna know what to do. But what happens though is on another level, because we don't know it, we don't have anything within that says, you're not allowed in here. This is my body, you're not allowed in, okay? And because of that, we're free game. And I do wanna say a few things. You are more vulnerable to discarnates coming into your body when you are under the influence of any kind of drugs or alcohol in an altered state of consciousness, when you are in a hospital, okay, hospitals, especially when you are under anesthesia or you're unconscious for some reason, even asleep, okay, the, the hospitals are notorious places for discarnates to come into the body. Think about this, you have all these people dying in the hospital who don't really wanna die, and then here you are, fresh body, well, they're gonna come on in and live through you, okay? They also come in at places like bars, you know, where there's a, or parties, big events, where people are um, using, like, using drugs or alcohol or, <clears throat> you know, going into altered states of some sort, uh, you know, you're ex you know, expanding and your awareness and things. And so what happens is these discarnates come in when you are in those states, different states of consciousness, okay? And... They can come in really young, sometimes when like an infant or baby or even children. Um, I just want to tell a story. This is so cute. I love it. My my niece, this is way back. She was two years old. And back then, I wasn't doing what I do now. I mean, I was aware of energy. I was aware of discarnates. But in some ways, I wasn't as, as awake as I am. So what would happen is we would... <laughs> We would, you know, we'd sit out, start to sit on the couch and she'd get upset, like, don't sit on my chickens, chickens, okay? So, okay, we won't sit on your chickens. We move somewhere else, okay? Sit a different part of the couch. So that was when she was two years old. 16 years later, when I started doing entity removal in 87, okay, she was now 18 years old and I was practicing, practicing entity removal. So I had her come and and I started, I wasn't didn't even, you know, I wasn't even thinking about it, but all of a sudden I'm talking to this being inside of her. And all of a sudden we're going back to when she was little. And here's what happened. Because we found out the there was a young boy, he's probably about 10 years old, and he had, you know, he lived on see, we we lived in the country. Okay. We we lived, I had critters, blah, blah, blah. So um anyway, so um this kid lived with his you know, family on their farm, ranch, little place. They had chickens. He got to go feed the chickens all the time. So he loved feeding the chickens. Okay. So what happened though is one day he was out feeding, feeding the chickens and he kind of wandered off and he got hit on, a, on those country roads. Sometimes there's the kind of, you know, corners, whatever, but he got hit by a car, got killed. Okay. He didn't know he died. He just was killed. So he goes back in spirit, goes back to his, house and all of a sudden he's seeing his mother in a police car and she's crying and he doesn't understand okay so he just walks away and he just gets you know gets some chickens this little spirit of the chickens and he left he found my niece and he gave he said you, he, he gave her the chickens if he could come into her body so she had little chickens while he was in her body okay so when we found this all out I mean my niece was crying because she remembered okay and she remembered him, and on some level, he's been with her for 16 years. Not on some level, he's been in her body 16 years, and now I'm going to take him out, okay? <clears throat> so in, in a way, 
she had some kind of connection to this little kid, okay? So when I pulled him out of the body, you know, she felt the sadness and the loss of him leaving. This is something else that I want to bring to awareness too, is sometimes we have discarnates in our body and we take them out. We're going to feel a loss. We're going to feel an emptiness. And it's a different feeling than losing someone out here like a, like a friend goes away you don't see him anymore or someone dies or whatever it's a different feeling because they're if they're within the body they are in the body so when we take them out i've had people literally say to me i can't handle this can you bring them back okay i am so traumatized i feel so alone i can't stand it okay so people that can happen but coming back to the whole thing with sovereignty is we don't want other beings inside of us. We're here to evolve spiritually. We're, are, we're here to, to have the soul wake up and evolve. Okay? And when we have all these other discarnates in us, we can't do that. Okay? So what we want is we want to start claiming sovereignty. What that means is that I'm going to claim ownership. I'm not going to do it consciously aware fully aware with consciousness now that i understand that i do have that right now that i understand that things do come in discarnates do come into my body now i got it now i want to make sure that they don't we do have a group clearing that's going to walk you through but we're going to be doing a lot of really deep unraveling and clearing and anchoring you into your body and also releasing discarnates but we're going to get you set up so you start really claiming sovereignty over your body and how to do that to ensure that you really are claiming sovereignty so that you no longer allow any new people to come in. Okay, But again, at the clearing, I will be releasing, unraveling, uh, discarnates, clearing them out so you'll be freer, less, less energy inside of you. I won't get them all, but at least you'll start to claim sovereignty over your body. So that's going to be an awesome group clearing that you're going to want to get in on. Okay, So people, it's really important that you are living free without other energies because we feel their thoughts, we feel their emotions, we feel their reactions, we don't know it's us. We act and live, these people living through us. We want to be authentically ourselves. Just me, just you, that's it, okay? This is what we're here to do now. We're, we're, you know, we're in that precipice of the new paradigm and that does mean claim the body, express ourselves fully, share the gift of who we are. That's what we're, that's our true purpose is to share the gift of who we are, okay? And in that, whatever we start to do in the world, you know, will bring us more joy and happiness or, you know, fulfillment. Like for me personally, this is the work that I do. It's not who I am, but it is what I do, okay? And it's what I love, okay? I'm, you know, on purpose, but it was the journey of opening my own self, my own heart to share the gift you have to my of me being me who i am without capitulation without holding back without fear anxiety of being killed or <laughs> or whatever judged you know humiliated shamed okay so it, to claim sovereignty we'll begin that process where we start to claim our lives claim our bodies where we're no longer going to let somebody else come in okay now we're aware of it we're awake to it we know the dangers of it we know how we can be affected by it and we no longer want that in our lives. We want to be us. We want to be who we are. Okay. So claiming sovereignty is the best way to keep them out. Okay. I've met many, many people. Let's just, you know, surround yourself with light or put up a force field or whatever. People, are you going to spend 24 hours every second of the day holding the shield up? It's not going to work. They pass through it anyway. Okay. Because, <laughs> because you don't have the, 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 the sovereignty where you're saying, no, it comes from within. It's not an act that you have to do. It's not a, you know, where you have to do something or think about something. It's a way of being. It's a sense of being, claiming sovereignty. Okay. So you're going to want to get this one and make sure you don't let any more discarnates start coming into your body. So I'm hoping to see you there. <laughs>